In this insight video, I'm going to stress the importance of training your golf swing versus trying to think it. So I, I do this, this three hour clinic called the consistency clinic where basically I, I throw a lot of information at these poor unsuspecting golfers. And we start off with 20 minutes talking about contact, ball flight, and then essentially what we're trying to do with impact. So what positions we're trying to get to, how we're going to get there. Um, it's on a very high level though. After this little introduction, we always go out to the range and I give them about 15 minutes to get warmed up and to just process the information that I gave them. And I have yet to have anyone make significant improvement from just hearing that introduction of, okay, here's how you're going to interpret contact, here's how you're going to interpret ball flight, here's how I want you to get into impact. Just by hearing what to do, they go out there and I can tell you, I've never had someone have significant improvement just from that 20 minute part. What then happens is we come back in and we go over all these drills to help break down the key movements so that they can then start training them. And as they put in repetitions throughout the clinic, their swings tend to get better and better and then they start to be able to use that information appropriately. Can also, with my students, I tend to find Anytime a golfer comes in and they're struggling with a specific movement, my first question is always going to be, well, how have you been training it? And they'll tell me, well, I've been thinking about doing this. And I've said, okay, show me what drills you've been doing to try to break it down. And they'll, you know, give me that deer in the headlights look like, well, no, I've just been trying to think it. And I can't stress enough that even if you understand it, just trying to think your way through a golf swing is never going to work. You have to train it. You have to do the whole Mr. Miyagi to Daniel Sun thing. You know, if this whole wax on, wax off thing is a very simple movement, right? If I told you, hey, all you're going to do, I'm going to throw a punch and you're just going to go like this and it's going to block it, right? Sure. Sign me up for a fight. I know what to do. I'm ready for it. Probably not. I'm going to get my butt kicked. But Mr. Miyagi was smart. He had Daniel Sun do 10,000 repetitions of each of the key movements that he was trying to train so that when he was able to just say the movement, he could recall it very, very effectively. That's the purpose of my isolation drills and the drills that you'll see in the different sections of the setup and the release and the backswing and the transition and the, all the key pieces. I've broken them down so that you can train each piece to then put it back in together, which I've found works really well for performance. But if you're just going to watch the videos and try to think your way through it, I can guarantee you it's going to make you more confused and probably have you performing worse. So watch the drills and then when you have questions, either submit your swing via the submission or fill out the decoder. Let us know what's going on so that we can help guide you as to where you might be missing out on that la last key little ingredient. 